Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back every day. We're always connected. Please keep in mind, I'm reading the energy of the cards. The tarot is your best friend who always tells you the truth, but you all have free will. So just keep that in mind. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, travel, love, anything you could ask about. Mondays are a different style each week. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn, please. All right. <clears throat> we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You have here the lovers. The fool. Judgment. I'm mean, justice. Pardon me. Judgment. That was crazy. I said ju judgment and then it came out next. I didn't mean to. The wheel of fortune, the ten of swords, the high priestess, and the ace of wands. Well, how about that? We have six major arcana. That is significant when you only have eight cards in a reading. Arcana comes from arcanum. It means mysteries and secrets. Major arcana are major life events. So you definitely have a turn in your favor here. We have the Archangel Gabriel, but I love this little setup right through here. And I will tell you, you have, after the wheel comes justice, you also have justice and the wheel together. They're not right next to each other, but they're pretty darn close. All right, well, what do you want? It's to your time. Your time is now, Capricorn, with this. Expect the unexpected, but expect it with that wheel to be something that turns in your favor. So we have here Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. We've got Gemini. We have Libra, and we have fire and air. So this is what I, I believe it was like this. Wait a minute, maybe it was like this. I apologize, I got so excited. Okay, it was like this. All right, with the lovers, you've got the Archangel Raphael here. I mentioned we also have Gabriel here. Two Archangels, you can't ask for a better cycle. So whatever ended in the tarot, it's all about new beginnings. And with that Ten of Swords being here, I feel like it released you into something so much better. Now, the lovers can be about fertility with this little mountain here, but it also is overcoming challenges, letting the past stay where it needs to right in the past, the lovers is about choices, but with this, it's positive. This is not a negative card. It's attraction, it's beauty, it's love, it's the right relationships inside and out. And if it's a job, if it was a job that ended and you're starting something new with that ace of wands with the lovers, it will be flourishing. This is a very positive indication that you're on the right path and that things around you are expanding. You're attracting the right people. You have uh, Adam here represents the conscious mind. He's focusing his eyes on Eve, who is then focusing her attention in the direction of the divine. So it's trying to tell you your conscious mind imparts on the subconscious, which is connected. It's like this circular thing. And you also have, too, this serpent over Eve's shoulder. She ignores it because it's you ignoring limitations, ignoring setbacks, knowing that they're setups and moving forward, whatever it is. So you also have the sun here. You have the sun as well right here next door to it with the fool. The fool is your soul. The fool represents your soul and this earth school and this hero's journey telling you it's your vision quest. So those of you too, I do see somebody, if you're thinking of opening a small business like a coffee shop or even a small art gallery, even if it's online, I do see somebody taking a leap of faith. It feels more brick and mortar to me, but again, that may only be for one of you on here. With this full energy though, everything is available to you. You know who you are. You've got all the tools right at your the tips of your fingers here. This is releasing resistance, so know that in your day-to-day -day operations here, 
you are going to be attracting people. They feel this energy, this exuberance. If you're new on a job, they're going to feel your vigor and say, my God, where did this person come from? I'm so glad you're here. I feel like you'll get a lot of praise, like people saying, you're doing a great job in this kind of energy because you don't resist. You don't push against. You're part of a team. And with this too, you've got in terms of companions, trusted companions, trusted advisors for some of you who are going to give you great advice if you're trying to start something new, even if it's watching YouTube videos from people who have gone before you. I don't know if this is still the case. It probably isn't anymore. But some years ago, one of the most popular, most watched YouTube channel was an accountant. He wasn't flashy. He wasn't glamorous. He didn't do a bunch of edits to the videos. He just gave good accounting advice. And so it's that sort of thing where it may not come from, you know, somewhere that's really flashy, but the advice is sage and it's grounded and it's positive. So in terms of a relationship, though, with the fool, it is jumping right in, especially with the wheel and the lovers. It's things are going to develop and develop fast. And with this, too, because you have your guard let down, you can come together. The two of you can come together. Now, this person that you're attracting, they may have some unusual interests, and they also may be very adventurous with this energy. They are curious about you, but they're also curious about life. They want to enjoy life to the fullest. And I feel like they're grounded enough that they, you know, in terms of if, they, if they're if they into travel, because that's what I really got. Somebody likes to travel and maybe even do road trips and things like that to places that aren't that far away, but they're different kinds of unique, almost avant-garde. I keep getting this sort of avant-garde thing coming in. But either way with this, they have the money to do it. This is not somebody who's charging up credit cards and then going, now what? Because with justice too... You have this, did I mention we had Libra? I don't remember saying it, but it could be an air sign because you've got Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius all represented here that you are attracting. But with this, it's also about cause and effect. You are the cause. Everything around you is the effect. You are getting today what you were, the energy that you put out. So it will feel just with this as you move forward and with judgment too. Though these are very powerful in terms of getting what you've asked for. And there's no second guessing on here. It's very clear. It's very upright. It's honest energy with the energy of justice especially, but judgment too. So if you're waiting on a decision with justice and that upright sword, it's telling you that it goes in your favor with this. And if you've had some difficulties in the past, if you because you do have an ending here, we let the universe handle whoever this is. If it was a job or even if it's because minor arcana or minor, even if it's somebody who hurt your feelings, you may find that you don't really do anything about that. You just kind of let it go for now and it'll get back brought into your awareness or they'll come forward with an apology because you do have that here without you having to come and extrapolate it from them. With this, it's like you know when you're right, when you're right, you're right. And with judgment here, this also releases you from the coffins of the ego, all right? There's no confinement here. It's all about creativity. It's about expression, and it's a renewal for you. So you have, for some, if it's a move onto something else, it is a fresh viewpoint, a fresh experience. But with this, you have a life without limits. It's self-mastery. And so you're not as conditional, too, in this energy. You're not tied to conditions, okay? The coffins of the ego. We're not tied to what somebody else has done. So especially with that Ten of Swords, you may find that you release it pretty easily because you say, look, I've got this new love interest or this new job. I've got other things that consume my attention and my thoughts. I just don't really care that much about this person who snubbed me or who said something about me that wasn't true. That's just not where you're investing your energy. And this always reminds me of the second mirror of the Essenes when we talk about, I believe it is the second one, receiving that which we judged. Now that can be a scary thing to manifest. Trust me, I've done it. And so with this, it's like it releases you from your judgments as well. And it allows you to take that leap of faith because you're tied to freedom. You're not anchored to anything. So with the wheel of life here, this portal is a wheel into the divine. Meditate, quiet the mind. You're going to be in a major life change here with all these major arcana. This is significant and this is high vibrational. You have the serpent I pointed out in the lovers, but you have it here too. High vibrational and the Hermanubis, Hermes and Anubis, the combination of the gods 
ascending the wheel. So whatever you're doing, it's making an upward change. This is not a lateral move. It's moving on up. And so with the wheel, enjoy this because it feels like luck. You're going to feel like you're in the right place at the right time. For somebody in a relationship too, I really get this strongly together. Like it feels like a chance encounter, but you've already been manifesting each other. So we know a little more around here, don't we? There's a reason why we find each other because we understand the laws of life and you have it right here turning in your favor. So with this Ten of Swords, there is an ending, but I feel it's fairly minor or it may just be hurt feelings. This can be a bit of a... Oh, an exaggerated energy too. Like just, it's sort of like, I feel like they're telling you with all these major arcana, just kind of keep this in perspective. If there's one thing we want to compartmentalize, it might be this, okay? So I feel like we just don't give this so much energy that it gets bigger than it needs to. With the high priestess, um, with this, you've got this equal armed cross. You have it here too. You're bringing in balance. And with this high priestess, four moons appear. This has changed, but it's being in flow. Her robe becomes the, the pool of consciousness. So with this, you stay true to yourself. There's no downside. She's the card of the psychic, but information comes in. You also, with this, hold the book of laws of life, the book of Torah here. So I do feel like with this, it's law of attraction energy. And with the ace of wands, what do you want, Capricorn? Because you wave that magic wand and it will appear. The Ace of Wands brings a thrill. It's very, it's a, a very compatible energy with the Fool, and he also carries a magic wand. It's going to be a time where things just seem to fall into place, but it's also taking the action, taking that leap of faith. So let's see here, Capricorn, what the angels have to say about all this. What a beautiful reading, though. Outstanding. What else does Capricorn need to know, please? Advice for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Recovery, mind, body, spirit. So if you're taking a vacation too, or I don't know if your life is going to start feeling like one with the full energy, um, it's in the cards. Romance. I, I don't, this came through loud and clear. You have a phenomenal partnership coming in here. There's passion, but there is real love. You've got a golden opportunity manifesting here. So those of you that are making a job or a geographic change, you've got perfect timing to do it. And we've got a yes, because you create your own reality. You can have, do, or be anything, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.